people ask me what is a difference between IVF and ICSI. Most of the time, whenever there is fertilization failure inside the fallopian tube, like the egg is coming from here, entering into the tube, and this is vagina, the sperm goes here, either this way or that way, and this both of the egg gametes, they meet. When they meet, the formation of embryo or life begins in the outer part of the tube, either this side or this side. This is in vivo, that is inside the body, fertilization. Fertilization means meeting of the egg and sperm. If any chance this is not happening because tubes are not good, eggs are not coming out properly or number of sperms are less, then what we do, we take out this egg from here with ultrasound machine with a needle under anesthesia, no pain into a dish, into a tube you can say, then we take it into a dish. If we take this egg in a media that is the food material of the cell, now we have to fertilize it. There are two methods of fertilization. Any fertilization which is outside the body is called in vitro. Vitro means glass. So in vitro fertilization, that means we are doing this thing in a glass dish and nowadays we are doing it plastic dish. <coughs> Sorry. If we keep this egg and put a sperm around and allow them to meet together naturally, then this is called conventional IVF. This is more natural, but there are chances that they might not meet and there might be a failure. So nowadays what we do, <coughs> we take out this egg and hold this egg with a tube with mild suction so that it stays over here and with the injection needle which is very small in diameter, take the sperm and then inject this sperm inside the egg. When we do injection, that is intra means inside, cytoplasm means this fluid of the egg, <coughs> sperm means sperm and injection means injection. So it is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection. This is another method of in vitro fertilization. So in vitro fertilization can be done one by conventional, another by ICSI. ICSI is mostly used when there are chances of poor quality sperm, they might not meet together or the quality of the egg which might not accept the sperm. But nowadays to make confirm that there is fertilization, most of the lab, they go for ICSI most of the time. But mind it, conventional IVF is more natural, ICSI is more invasive. But giving the results, fertilization rates are almost same and the chances of having problem in con babies are almost same. So both are same in results, but ICSI gives a better confirmation of fertilization. So the lab or the center gives a better success rate. Thank you very much.